I wanted to properly explain why. It wasn't just one reason. There are several reasons. As a matter of fact, I sat down and I wrote them all down on cue cards. Why I attack Jeff Hardy and why I hate Jeff Hardy and why fans love him. Jeff Hardy has lots of hair. And I don't. He paints it red, green, purple, and blue. But having colored hair does not make you a champion. Number two, it's the way that Jeff Hardy dresses that gets on my nerves. He wears makeup on his face, and he wears freaking socks on his freaking arms. It's embarrassing. As you see, I dress professionally. Number three, at events, I'll be signing for hundreds of fans, and Jeff Hardy will come walking in late with his head down, and the fans will walk away from me and flock to Jeff Hardy which completely and ultimately gets on my nerves. Which comes to number four. Girls just love Jeff Hardy. Shut up! Girls dig me too, I just choose to be a one woman man. And number one reason the number one reason I hate Jeff Hardy, I have 100 different Kurt Angle action figures. I have over 100 different Kurt Angle posters. I have over 100 different Kurt Angle t-shirts. And at night, when I go to my son's room, I walk in and I turn on the nightlight. I look around and I see Jeff Hardy posters on the wall. I tiptoe to the bed. As I do, I step on a few action figures. I look down and they're Jeff Hardy action figures. I finally get to the bed and I tuck my son in and I notice he's wearing a Jeff Hardy t-shirt. I roll my son Cody over to kiss him on the face, and he's got freaking makeup on his face. And he has purple hair. And he's wearing freaking socks on his arms. You see, I'm an Olympic gold medalist, and Jeff Hardy is my son Cody's hero. You figure that out. Now, everywhere I go, it's a constant reminder of Jeff Hardy and how much all of you love him. So there is only one solution for Kurt Angle. Jeff Hardy, get your out here right now. for why Kurt Angle screwed Jeff Hardy out of the World Championship. Well, you talk about petty. You talk about absolute jealousy on the part of the Olympic gold medalist. He's talking about Jeff Hardy's hair, his style of dress. But speaking of jealous, how about the Jeff Hardy posters, action figures, and t-shirts that Kurt's own son loves? Well, I gotta say, Mike, I do, I do agree with you, you know? I mean, I, Kurt Angle definitely 
just a case of good old-fashioned jealousy. It, it's, it's damn near comical. Listen, man, I, I know Perry a long time, and uh, I've traveled with him, trained with the guy, and that, <laughs> I never heard him, like, kind of act that way about something. I've seen him get that look in his eye like he wants to destroy somebody, which he can do it any time he wants, but this jealousy thing, I, I'm starting to think maybe there's more to this. I don't know. You think you're so cool. Now these are the reasons why you're not World Heavyweight Champion. And Kurt Angle only has one solution. And that's Kurt Angle versus Jeff Hardy at Victory Road. And that is where Kurt Angle will destroy Jeff Hardy. So what do you say, Jeff? Oh, oh. There you go. Hardy just exploding all over Kurt Angle. It's redemption time. Can you blame Jeff Hardy for this kind of reaction? We got some TNA officials out here to pull Hardy oh, off Hardy the court. Him again. And there's no stopping Jeff Hardy. Kurt Angle, you're on! That's what we got ourselves a pretty sweet match come Victory Road. Angle versus Jeff Hardy. That's big. Jeff Hardy, a man of few words, but plenty of action. Challenge issued, challenge accepted for Victory Road.